good sleep habits um, start with thinking about winding down um, before you go to sleep. So do calming, um, relaxing activities for the hour or so before bed. Have uh, routine uh, sleep times. Only spend the amount of time in bed as what you think you actually need to sleep, like eight hours. I think that some people who have a lot of sleep problems, that they can get in a vicious circle and they can worry too much about their sleep and they have an emotional reaction. And I try and um, make them feel more relaxed about that and to think, well, maybe rest is good. Maybe I can just lie in bed here and be a little bit dozy, you know, and, uh, and just think about some calming things. Think about my last holiday, think about my next holiday, that sort of thing. Try and keep away those um, emotional thoughts. We know that, that certain parts of sleep, it's very hard to know whether you're awake or asleep. And we also know that people who are poor sleepers are very bad judges of that. And if you've got a lot on your mind, it feels like you're wide awake and um, you, these uh, thoughts are just circling round and round in your head. But in actual fact, you might actually be just moving in and out of dozy sleep and you might actually be getting more sleep than what you actually think you're getting.